Hi guys, Carl here with the Academy team and today you join me in the New Forest at the venue for our three day photographic break, Rhinefield House. Now, the New Forest is a fantastic place for photography. I've been coming here since I was a little kid with my family. We had a holiday home just down the road and it gives you sort of lots of opportunities for different types of photography. So we've got wildlife, lots of nature, we've got lots of uh, country houses and things like that. It's a really lovely place and that's why I think our sort of course is perfectly suited here. I just want to sort of caveat the video by saying that it's uh, the end of winter, as you can probably tell, I'm really, really cold. Uh, there's not a lot on the trees. We come here at the end of October, so lots and lots of colour. We've got the autumn, uh, lots and lots of vibrancy for your photographs. So uh, join me in the rest of the video where we'll have a look at some of the photographs that we've taken since we've been here. And we'll have a look at some of the sites and the rest of the, the places around the Rhinefield. So join me then. Hi guys, so you join me here at Puttles Bridge, which is one of the many locations that we visit on our three days here in the New Forest. Um, for here, this location, we're looking at dappled light through the trees, we're looking at different sort of shots, we've got the river behind us, which is really, really nice. Um, some of the other locations that we'll visit are the forest walks, where we have tall trees, where we use different variety of equipment, which we'll talk about a bit later on. Um, we've got the coastal views, where we look at neutral density filters and taking long exposures of the sea. Um, so while we're here, I'm going to take a few photographs and a few shots. Come with. So one of the great things about photographing in the New Forest is not just all the big landscapes and beautiful scenery, we've got smaller scenery like pine cones and macro and trees and things like that, but we've also got the local wildlife, so the New Forest ponies, horses, we've got lots of deer and lots of bird life as well. So I'm here at Boulderwood guys and I thought I'd just take a couple of moments out from shooting to go over some of uh, the key things that I think you guys need to know before you turn up for our break. So um, transport wise, once you're here at Rhinefield, we've got Jessup's vehicle that shuttles you around between all the different locations that we've already scouted out for you, which makes the, uh, the three days even even better really um, and on the food front don't worry about food we cater for you for breakfast and lunch and there's plenty of opportunities for you guys for dinner for restaurants and pubs in the local area uh, clothing wise I would bring a sensible jacket I'd bring sensible footwear waterproof hiking boots wellies that kind of thing and enough clothes to last you for the three days uh, equipment wise camera and photography wise I'd look at uh, any camera can do this course really as long as it's got sort of manual controls but to really get the best out of the experience I look for something with an interchangeable lens so I'd look at bringing a wide lens for the lovely landscapes I'd look at bringing a bit of a zoom lens for the wildlife and uh, the bird life around here and I'd look at a macro or a general purpose lens for the other sort of opportunities that we'll have in the various locations um, some other notable pieces of equipment, I definitely bring a tripod with you, something to keep the camera nice and steady, especially for some of the seascape stuff that we do um, during the break, and some filters, which are really nice to get those sort of long exposures. Um, I'd also bring sort of spare batteries and a cable release or a remote control for the camera, just so that you're not handling touching the camera whilst you've got it on a tripod. All right, so um, I'm going to go back to shooting now, and come and join me in the rest of the video. Milford on sea guys and this is our normally our sunset location and as you can see it's a bit overcast and a bit grey today so we're going to overlay some images for you on the screen for you to look at. Uh, we normally come here to look at 
filters, so graduated filters, neutral density filters, and ways we can be, be a bit more creative with our photography, especially in terms of motion and movement and water and things like that. So that brings me kind of to an end to the video and my end of the day here. It's been a great day, we've had lots of exciting fun. Um, if you want to check out more about the course or if you want to learn about any of the dates that we have available, check out jessops.com or please pop into your local store. It's been great to have you, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.